Hello and welcome to 22722 Studios. My name is Shamsud Dane and this video is about animating Genesis figure from Daz in Blender using the rig GNS add-on. In Daz Studios, you can see I already have the Genesis 8 product visible in my smart content pane. So now I will select figures and then load the Genesis 8 basic mill into the scene. I'm going to come to edit now and under the object options, I will select the Morph Loader Pro. And in this option pop-up window, I will select choose more files and then load in an OBJ file I exported from Blender after I resculpted the Genesis figure. So now after selecting accept, I should be prompted that the morph creation was successful. Now I will select OK and then check in the scene pane to see that my character is still selected. Now I will open the parameters pane and then go to morph which is down here under generals. Then I will take the slider here to 100% to have the figure look exactly as was sculpted in Blender. Because of these changes, I will have to adjust the rig so it matches the new shape. So now I will go to the scene pane and right click on its header. Then I will go to edit, then rigging and then adjust rigging to shape. So in this pop-up window, I will simply select accept and then wait for DAS to adjust the rigging. Once that is completed, I can now add some clothing to the character by checking here in the wardrobe. I will also check for hair and add that to the character as well. Now I will go to file, export, then give it a preferred name. I'll also make sure to change the file format to Autodex FBX and then select save. And in this export windows, I will make sure figures is checked. Also, I'm going to leave this as FBX binary and then I'll make sure collect textures to folder, match clothing into figure skeleton, allow degraded skinning and scaling are all checked. Now I can select accept. In Blender, the first thing after deleting the cube is to go to Edit, Preferences, then I will select Add-on, and then select the Install button up here, and now look for the prerequisite Rig GNS add-on. Once the add-on is installed, I will now check this box to enable it. Also, I will check for the Rigify add-on under the Rigging category and make sure it is also enabled. So now I will open the properties panel and select rig GNS. Now I can import my file by selecting import. But while still in the import windows, I'm going to uncheck use pre slash post rotation on the transform and then check automatic bone orientation on the amateur options. And now I can select import. Once the character is loaded into the scene, I can start the rigging process by selecting initialize then add meta rig, then match rig, then generate rig, and then rig figure. Once this is finalized, I will quickly change the viewport shading to texture and now I will quickly show you a demonstration of what you can achieve once the figure is fully rigged. One other thing you can do with this add-on is have the character copy an animation template from mixamo.com. So now, I'm going to import an animation template I already downloaded from the Mixamo website.
and once that is imported, I will simply select the bind button down here. And on selecting play, you should see that the character now copies the animation template. 